I'm Elaine Mandel, and, and we're in my apartment. Uh, and you were just in the studio for Luxury Weavers. Yeah. Doing a live session. Yeah, which was a lot of fun. With a third of my band. <laughs> I've done just music for nine years. I, was, I came along when the industry was definitely still the model. And there was independent music out there, but it, it was sort of an unknown, unknown to me. I mean, others have done it. Joan Jett did it, mm -hmm. you know, 30 years ago. Friends, and I'll say it's too late to make a man. I think when I got into it, I really, my hope was to get a big record deal and to then skyrocket to, you know, success, even with the quirky kind of stuff I was doing. My Ideas of success success evolved over time to include not having that. <laughs> I grew up playing violin and piano. I started violin when I was five. It was great to start early and learn how to read music because when I decided to play guitar when I was a teenager, it was easy. I just wanted to play rock and roll, punk rock. What were your main influences? Uh, well, I discovered X, which was an L.A. punk band from the late 70s through the 80s. They were sort of the first band that I heard that was really different from anything I'd heard before that really sparked something in me. And that I decided that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be just like that. And Tom Waits? I have gotten to spend a little bit of time with him uh, through our mutual friend, Chucky Weiss. Back in the day, I used to work the door at Chuck's shows, and one night Chuck called me and said, Tom's coming down, bring your guitar, I want you to play for him. Tom was just so sweet to me and encouraging, and I really credit him for keep the vo being the voice that kept me going for many years during all of the uh, failed in an industry showcases. <laughs> I, I kept hearing him say that was beautiful. Oh, it was a great song. So yeah, that was exciting. How is your process of writing? My process is very lazy. <laughs> I get ideas and I, I uh, sort of jot them down every now and then. But mostly I just wait for inspiration to hit. It's so fun for me to play these songs with this band. My bass player, Ryan, who I've worked with longer than any of the others, he's now married and having kids. It's a huge change. Mm -hmm. So who knows what will happen. And how long have you guys been together in the band? Uh, Ryan on bass and Kevin on drums. The two of them have played with me for between eight and ten years. And then Jeremy Drake has been with me for two years. It was so exciting when we started playing with him. I think we all felt it, not only as a musician that we loved what he was bringing to the music, but also as a person that he immediately just fit with us. And we are we're our own little family unit band. My hope is always that more people will hear the music and that they'll like it, that I'll reach more people and have more success and make more money and, and um, get, get to continue doing what I'm doing. Besides that sort of obvious goal, I really just hope I will write more songs that I like and get to continue playing with my band.